If you spend a lot of time building, then you know how easy it is to place a few blueprints and forget about where they are. Something as simple as a torch can have you scratching your head forever. Seriously, my server had a chair placed for nearly a year and a half that I couldn't find. Thanks, random server visitor. But now I have a set of console commands to show you how to find those lost prints, like a needle in a haystack. We're going to cover three blueprints, and I'm going to give you a list of more towards the end of the video. Let's start by locating a wall torch blueprint. Using console commands, we can type in show object location. If you don't know how, I have a link in the description. Every blueprint command will have the word structure, node, clone. You just need to be more specific. For torches, use the command wall torch structure node clone and press enter. This is going to label the last loaded wall torch and it's even going to tell us our distance. Using that same game object name, you can use the go to command to teleport to the blueprint location. If your GPS turns off, it means your blueprints in a cave or a bunker. Use the command a second time and you'll jump right into it. The game struggles putting a player from the overworld into the caves below, and you might have to move around as it puts you in the same exact position as the blueprint. But from here, you can build or remove the blueprint. Either way, it's going to remove that game object from the game and your build list. If you have more than one of the same blueprint, you can use the same two commands to find them. This always searches for the last game object that was loaded. Once you jump to the next one, just repeat those commands. I swear some of these blueprints have been lost for over a year. Another common blueprint that seems to get lost a lot is the stick chair. So many times I've tried to get Calvin to finish these and we get distracted and we just move on. In the console command, just replace wall torch with stick chair using the show object location to begin tracking the lost chair. And just like before, we can teleport to that chair blueprint. That's one less object to look for. Notice the name disappears as the blueprint is replaced with an interactive chair. One last example I want to show is the spin trap, just to make sure you have enough visual examples to see. Like before, I'm going to locate the unfinished trap using the show object location command, and then just teleport to it using the go to command. It turns out I have three spin traps next to each other, and I'm going to quickly handle this situation by removing the first one. This in turn removes the name. No matter where you are, you can locate other blueprints. And we're going to search for the next trap right here. To make this easier, I'm just pressing up and down on the arrow keys in the console to quickly bring up the commands that I've already typed in. Building the trap removes the blueprint as expected. And one last search shows that we have one more trap, and we're going to remove that one as well. One should be enough for this spot. The last thing left on my build list are a couple of rocks, which means that can only be a rock path. With the game's limited rendering ranges, mixed with increasing amounts of snow, you might not always spot your blueprint normally, especially rock paths or stick paths. As promised, here's a list of over 90 blueprint names in the game. Just remember that when you place one, it makes a clone of these objects, so don't forget to add that part into your console command. Each one's going to be a clone. Every blueprint of that type will have the same name. The best part about locating these blueprints is that the location shows no matter where the object is, even through walls made of log or stone. Your object may be underground in the cave or a bunker, likely as a lost light source or resting chair, and it even shows the distance away if you take that journey on foot. A full list of these commands will be found on my website, daywillonline.com. Did you know that the show object location can show you unique points of interest too? Not only that, but we can use it to show where Virginia and Calvin are hiding without the GPS. Check out this list of go-to points. It starts out with a few popular building places like the waterfall and the shark beach. And it's as simple as using the commands in the beginning of the video. If you wanted to see how far we are from the hanging man, use the command show object location 
hanged man go to. And of course, the same name with the go to command will take us there. How's it hanging, bro? Back to the list, we have go to commands for all of the villages and a few of my favorite places like the bunkers. And again, I'm showing you more examples of the same thing we've been doing this whole video. If you don't see the location marker, you might have to look around or even look underground. Other times, you may find what you're looking for is just a short distance away from the marker. With the release of 1.0, some of these locations don't appear as the name of the object. Maybe the locations were moved or the terrain was changed, but with over 150 locations to choose from, you may find something new. Some other points of interest on this list I enjoy having commands for are the airstrip, waterfalls, old helicopters, hot springs, and even golf course holes. I'm really interested in checking out some of these names like the Cabin Lake, Test Helicopters, and Virginia Falls. I wonder if that's a location they chose for her to have the highest interactivity with the surrounding environment. If you find anything cool, let me know in the comments below. There's no way I can check out all of these. If you don't like leaving comments on YouTube, I also have a website with a forum called daywillonline.com. You can also find me on Discord. I might even join your server if you let me know about it. Speaking of Virginia, if you ever find yourself looking for Virginia and she doesn't have a GPS tracker, we can use these commands on the game object Virginia Zero to locate her on the map. Be warned when teleporting to her, she can push you under the map or even between cliffs and rocks. This is a great set of commands if you haven't befriended her yet because she can easily disappear quickly without notice. In most cases, Kelvin can be located using the object Robbie Zero, but I find when playing on servers, the number often changes each time the server reloads. Look at him go. If you learned something new, click that like button or get out of here. <laughs>